Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this given rational expression. So let's look at, uh, at the denominator. As we can see, we got x power 3. That means we have a repeating factors. And the other factor is x power 2 plus 3, which is uh, quadratic and that cannot be factored no wonder we're gonna call it irreducible quadratic so therefore we have got irreducible quadratic factor as well as repeated factors now once again let's focus on the denominator this part x power 3 this tells us that this is repeating itself three times that means we are going to put three fractions first 1 separated by plus sign and then plus 1 and the first one is going to be x power 1 x power 2 and x power 3 all right and then we are going to focus on the other factor which is a quadratic one so since this is only one factor so we are going to have just plus one more fraction x power 2 plus 3 and now let's focus on the numerator on the top part for this first fraction is going to be constant a for the second fraction constant b third fraction constant c and the fourth fraction we have a quadratic part quadratic means it's going to be d times x plus e okay be careful with this, this one when we are dealing with the quadratics and our task is to find the values of constant a b c d and e now let's focus on the denominator on the left hand side whatever we see over here x power 3 times x square plus 3 I am going to multiply this thing across the board so I'm going to go ahead and multiply x power 3 times x square plus 3 on the first fraction on the left hand side likewise x power 3 times x square plus 3 for the first fraction likewise x power 3 times x square plus 3 and x power 3 times x square plus 3 and finally x power 3 times x square plus 3 across the board and now we can see that this x power 3 cancels out with this x power 3 on the left hand side and x squared plus 3 is gone with this x squared plus 3. So on the left hand side we are just left with 2x power 4 plus 2x power 3 plus 7x squared minus 3x plus 3 equals to Let's focus on this right hand side first fraction as you can see this x one of the x's cancels out with x power 3 so we end up with a times x power 2 times x square plus 3 and now we can see this x power 2 over here cancels out with this x power 3 only one x left over here so we can write this one plus b times x and then x square plus 3 and in the next one over here this x power 3 is gone with this x power 3 so we are ended up with plus c times x square plus 3 and finally this quadratic factor cancels out with this quadratic factor and we got plus dx 
plus e times x power 3. And I'm going to call this equation as equation number 1. So let's start working on this uh, equation 1 furthermore. So on the left hand side 2x power 4 plus 2x power 3 plus 7x square minus 3x plus 3 is going to stay same. On the right hand side we are going to distribute these one over here that is going to give us a x power 4 we have to be very careful 3ax square and likewise we're going to distribute over here as well that's going to become plus bx power 3 plus 3bx and same thing next distribute again as well plus cx square plus 3 C and finally we are going to distribute over here as well that is going to become plus dx power 4 plus ex power 3 and as you can see that our left hand side is going to stay same and let's focus on the right hand side we're going to combine the like terms as you can see we have ax power 4 and dx power 4 I can combine them and I can write them a plus d times x power 4 and next one is we have a bx power 3 and ex power 3 we are going to combine them together I can write plus b plus e times x power 3 and now we are going to look at 3ax square and cx square we are going to combine them together that is going to become plus 3a plus c times x square and now next is going to be 3bx all right so I am going to write down this one plus 3bx and finally plus 3c and now I am going to call this as an equation number 2 and in this next step we are going to equate or sometimes we call it compare the coefficients on the both side of this equation number 2 let's focus on x power 4 over here as we can see in this equation 2 on the left hand side the x power 4 has two coefficient on the right hand side it is a plus d I am going to equate them I'm going to write down 2 equals to a plus d and now let's take care of x power 3 so on the left hand side the coefficient of x power 3 is 2 and on the right hand side is a b plus e let's equate them as well so it's going to become 2 equal to b plus e and the next one is x power 2 right up here as you can see on the left hand side the coefficient of x square is 7 and on the right hand side 3a plus c let's equate them as well so that is going to give us 7 equals to 3a plus c and now let's focus on x variable on the left hand side we got negative 3 coefficient for x and the right hand side is this 3b let's equate them as well so that is going to give us negative 3 equals to 3b and finally on this constant part we have 3 on the left hand side constant and 3c on the right hand side let's equate that one as well so we got 3 equals to 3c 
Now let's go ahead and simplify. As you can see in this constant term, this equation, this is going to give us C equals to 1. All right. And this x variable part, this is going to give us B equals to negative 1. So far so good. And let's keep moving on on this one. X squared part over here, I can write this one, this equation as 3A equal to 7 minus C. And we know that our C value is 1. So this could be written as 3A equal to 7. And since C is 1, I'm going to replace it by 1. So 3A equal to 6. That means A value is going to be 2. So far so good. And now let's move on to x power 3 equation on this one over here. We want to solve for E. So E could be written as 2 minus B. And we know that the B value is negative 1. So E equal to 2 minus and B is negative 1. So that means E is going to be simply equal to negative and negative become positive 1. So E equal to 3 value. And finally to find the D value I can write this equation as D equal to 2 minus A and we know that A value is 2 so D could be written as 2 minus 2 that means D value turns out to be 0. So thus our A value turns out to be 2 b negative 1 c 1 d 0 and e 3 so therefore in our partial fraction decomposition wherever we see a i am going to replace it by 2 b by negative 1 c by 1 d by 0 and e by 3 and here's the partial fraction decomposition after replacing the constant values. And here is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.